Hello again, this is Mark French from Purdue University and this is the next in a series of video clips about how to use MathCAD. And today I'd like to talk to you about how to do plots. That's one of the most useful things in MathCAD and it's also one of the simplest to learn. Before I tell you about that though, I'd like to tell you a little bit about how to put comments on in your MathCAD files. Comments are just text that you uh, add to uh, make the file easier to read. There's basically two ways to do it. The first is to simply start typing. Now when you first start typing, MathCAD assumes you're typing a variable name. And it uses this uh, Times Roman font. As soon as you hit a space, it knows you're not typing a variable because variables aren't allowed to have spaces in it. If you type a space, it, MathCAD knows that you're trying to make a text comment. So watch when I hit the space, the font changes that's now a text comment that doesn't have any mathematical meaning now the other way to do this is to tell it right up front that what the the keystrokes that follow are going to be a text comment and all you have to do there is hit the shift and then the double quote and you get this box and what you get then is a, bo a text box and you can type in anything you want okay so I'll just type in Apparently I can't talk and type at the same time. There we go. This is a demonstration on plotting in MathCAD. Well, in MathCAD, all you have to do is define a function. And let's just say this one. This is one I've been playing with here to this morning. And that's a fun y is a function of x. In fact, let's put it over here. Now MathCAD works from left to right and top to bottom. Now you see right here I've got a little uh, Sp uh, slice taken out of that uh, text file. That's because there was a, a boundary line there. Whenever you n you want to clean the screen up, you can hit View and hit Refresh, or just Control R, and that uh, redraws the screen for you. So I've got this function y of x defined, and oops, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay, so now I can plot this. If I say insert graph xy plot, just put in x of there, right there, and y of x right there. Now I've defined y of x, so it's going to know what to do, and there it is. Now, MathCAD has made a couple of assumptions. It's guessed at what I want the range of the x variable to be, because I didn't tell it, and it's guessed at how many points to put on the plot. So let's try something here just to see what it did. I'm going to uh, expand the screen out, expand the plot a little bit. When you click on a plot, a couple of things become apparent. There's three black boxes here. If I take this box, I can shrink or expand the plot without changing its aspect ratio. If I grab this one, I can make it taller or shorter. And if I can grab this one, I can make it thinner or wider. Now the other thing you'll see is the the uh, top and bottom limits on the ranges have these little brackets around them. That's your indication that MATLAB is guessing, at, or MathCAD, I'm sorry, is guessing at what it, the, the axis limits ought to be. Well, let's say I want to plot this function from 1 to 4, x equals 1 to x equals 4. So I can put that in here, 1. And four. Now notice that right here, that bracket has gone away. That's MathCAD's way of telling you that you've hardwired these limits in. Okay. Now it's still guessing at how many values of x to use to make the plot. Let's go ahead and see how many it used. You can go to Traces and turn on Symbols. Now that's. It looks like this big, 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 wide line. That's actually all these symbol values. Uh, overlapping each other. So that's way, way too many. I don't need that many. So let's actually let's leave that on for right now and let's make one change here. I'm going to define what's called a range variable. I'm going to have it generate a list of x's for me. So I'm going to say x equals and I want to go from 1 to 4. So 1 and then I'm going to hit the semicolon button on the keyboard and that gives me two dots. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, why it picked uh, two, the uh, MathCAD folks picked two dots, I don't know, but that's what it is. And you don't type in 
period, period. You type in a semicolon and that's what appears. So let me show you this again. One, semicolon, and then four. Now what this is going to do is this will make a list of x's that goes one to four. And there you go. See, one, two, three, four. Now, and I can actually uh, look at that. I can print that out on the screen if I like. I can say x equals, and there's my list. Well, maybe I want more points than that. That's really not very many. That's kind of a crude plot. So maybe I want to go from 1 to 1.5 to 2 to 2.5. In MathCAD, you give it the first two numbers in the series, and it makes the rest of the series for you. If you don't put a second number here, it assumes that you want to step by 1. Well, now that I've put 1.5, it knows to go 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, and so on. And you can see I've got more points on the plot there. Let's get rid of this and make the plot bigger. Okay, well maybe I want to go one in to 1.25. That's, that's not bad. So let's do that. If you want to be a little bit uh, more elegant about it, you can say something like, say, dx equals 0.25. And I'll say x0 is defined as 1. And replace this with x0 and replace this with x0 plus dx. Okay, Now it's automatic. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this. I can, let's, in fact, let's go one step further and let's say x final or maybe x, yeah, let's call it x final. I'll make that 4. Okay, and I'll put that as x final. Alrighty, now this is automatic and I can change the plot by changing my variables. Well, let's say uh, I want to go from 1 to 5. There we go. Now notice it didn't change the plot limits down here because I have them hardwired. Well, I can put a variable down there. There we go. And I can put a variable here. Now as, oops, x0, not x1, sorry. There. So now as I change my plot limits, the plot changes and the range variable changes. So now it's all automatic. It's a good idea to program like this because it makes it harder to mess things up. You'll, you'll, you'll make fewer errors this way and you'll have fewer frustrations. So let's turn the grid lines on here. And I always thought those uh, uh, green grid lines were kind of obnoxious. So let's make them a gray. I can still see them, but now they're sort of more in the background. Now let's say also that I want to put a different number of grid lines on the screen. I can do that too. Right now it's set to auto grid. It's guessing at how many I want. And it's got four grid lines. So let's put eight in there and see what happens. Okay. There. That looks a little better. All right. Now another thing I can do is I can add another function to this if I like. Let me try this. I'll call this y2 of x is, uh, let's see, how about the square root of x? Oh, I don't know, minus x. What I can do now is I can add a second plot on these axes. And the way you do this, you know, right now I've clicked over here and you can see that little blue backwards L that uh, tells me I've got that highlighted. If I hit the space bar, now I've highlighted that whole variable, hit a comma, and now it gives me room for another dependent variable over there. So I'll put y2 of x. Now, since I left the y-axis free to float, MathCAD was free to adjust the, the uh, range of the y-axis to fit my new data. And let's say I want to change this the trace a little bit. Let's make that a solid line and maybe make that, I don't know, how about a diamond? So there we go. Now if I want to add something, uh, some text, add a legend, I can do that too. Go to Traces and I can call this um, function 1 and whoops no. 
and go over here and call that function 2. And I, right now, the, the legend is hidden, so I can take that off and I'll put that below the axes, apply, say OK, and there it is. Okay, you can move this around as well if you like. All right, that's good enough for now. That's how to do a, a XY plot, and that's how to uh, uh, change the XY plot to make it look how you want, how to change the axes, and how to define range variables. The next uh, video is going to be on how to do 3D plots.